Hey! Everybody! My name is Elon Osborne, and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about movies, audio, and music. And if you enjoy my way of presenting said info, please consider these many ways to help support the channel. Like this video, subscribe, become a patron, rock some merch, get some tunes, read my children's book to your kids. Link in description. Link, link in description. Boy! Just to reiterate, if you do have a particular piece of equipment that you want me to review, I would highly consider joining my Patreon because I use those proceeds to buy equipment to review. Maybe it's certain things that I just can't get on loan or have a company send me, or maybe I just don't wanna wait for a company to send me something and I just wanna buy it right then. To review for you. Uh-huh. So come on, join. Everybody's doing it. I seriously doubt that. And lastly, if you want to get some of these Aperion audio speakers in your house ASAP, don't forget to use my code EO10 at checkout for 10% off. And now, what's in the box? Slice, slice, open, open, open. Some literature and white gloves as per usual. And a magnetic grill to go on the front if you so choose. Up and out the box, unwrap, 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 and here it is, in all its glory. Here's the book, oh, silicone, come on, would you get out of here, stealing the limelight. Binding posts. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the Aperion Audio Novus N5C center channel speaker. These three-way speakers have 5.25 inch aramid fiber cone dual active woofers and a 4 inch aramid fiber cone mid-range woofer. All speakers in the Novus line have their new 1 inch high-end silk dome tweeter surrounded by Aperion's signature aluminum faceplate and logo with a metal grill. It is 19.1 inches wide, 7.3 inches tall, and 9.1 inches deep. So as center channels go, it's pretty large and in charge. This particular speaker does not have the signature slotted reflex port like the towers or bookshelf speakers. Removable magnetic grills, of course. And just like the 6T towers, you'll notice that there is an ever so subtle slope to the front of the speakers to create an even phase alignment between treble and bass drivers. On the back, we have binding posts. Yay! And now here are a few more detailed specs. Moving on. How do they sound? Just like the T6 towers, these center channel speakers run neutral, having a flat frequency response. And after watching many TV shows and movies with this home theater system, I am equally impressed with the N5C as I am with the 6T towers. Especially with this little guy, the 4 inch mid-range woofer. I had this little interesting sonic discovery when breaking these speakers in this week. When watching TV shows and movies, the dialogue was actually a little bit more present than I was used to, which is actually a really good thing because there was this clarity that I was not used to. Not to say that it was too bright or too harsh or too forward. No, it somehow retained its neutral flat frequency response, yet dialogue was just slightly easier to understand. It was kind of a trip because you would think brighter would translate to clearer dialogue, right? with the higher frequencies given a slight boost compared to the mids and the bass. But this was not the case. The highs were still airy and neutral. But with the dialogue living in its own little mid-range woofer home, that isolation makes all the difference in the world. Instead of dialogue living in this kind of void somewhere between the tweeter and the bass woofer. Other center channels in this same price range tend to not have a mid-range woofer at all, or don't have a nominal impedance of 4 ohms like this center channel does. Usually 4 ohm speakers are reserved for ridiculously expensive audiophile quality speakers or large tower speakers, so the fact that you get a speaker that's 3-way with a nominal impedance of 4 ohms and not spending upwards of $1,000? Aperion Audio is a force to be reckoned with when it comes to speakers that are of audiophile quality yet affordable. 
The more I research their company and test out their speakers, the more I think they are like SBS, providing high quality speakers for less and incredible customer service. They have been nothing but accommodating with any requests that I've had while reviewing their speakers. And quick about it too. That's really important in my book. To be honest, I had never heard of Aperion Audio before they just emailed me out of the blue, wanting to know if I'd be interested in reviewing their product. Because I'm a relatively small channel, still, whenever somebody contacts me out of the blue, I'm like, okay, what bizarre company is this with their strange little product line? But nay! <laughs> I took one look at their website and thought it was a mistake that they were contacting me. Wait, me? Have you seen your speakers? Needless to say, I've been very impressed with Aperion Audio altogether. Having incredible speakers and SBS level personal customer service. Although truth be told, I do prefer the look of Aperion Audio speakers over SBS. SBS makes some great looking speakers, yes. But with everything having straight lines and edges, I do like the rounded corners of Aperion speakers. Not to mention those cool reflex ports and that signature faceplate around the tweeter. Just a personal preference, really. Bottom line is, this center channel speaker will make a great addition to any home theater system. Its neutral yet somehow detailed quality with dialogue is simply amazing. I'm a big fan. And if you enjoy my particular way of uh oh, you stopped. Uh... Bottom line is this center channel speaker. Speakle. Bottom line is this center channel. Shanner channer. Shanner channer. Coming to you live from downtown Missoula, Montana. It's the dumb, dumb, and a hole morning show. So there you have it, folks. Is the N5C center channel speaker now on your home theater wish list? If so, once again, don't forget to use my code EO10 for 10% off your purchase. Be sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell, and yada yada yada. And of course, always be listening. No, try again. Always be listening.